As mushroom growers, we put a lot of effort into creating the perfect conditions for mushrooms to grow because mushrooms are picky, right? If they don't get the right humidity, the right temperatures, just enough fresh air, a lot of the times your project will abort and the mushrooms won't quite grow right. But mushrooms are way more resilient than we give them credit for and sometimes they surprise us. In this video, I wanted to show you a bunch of examples of mushrooms growing in really weird places and doing whatever it takes to grow and to spread their spores. First up is mushrooms growing on a mop. And actually this is the first picture that I saw that gave me the idea to do this video. I found this one on Reddit and a lot of the comments were saying that people didn't even believe that it was real, but actually looking at it, I do think that it is pretty possible that it's real. I don't know exactly what species this is, but you can see that the mushrooms are in all different stages of growth. Some of them have the cap wide open releasing spores. One of them actually has a cap that's already split open. And it makes sense that mushrooms could grow there, right? Because they'd be feasting on the fibers of the mop and it would be nice Nice and moist for the mycelium to grow so you can kind of picture exactly how this might work. So I don't know, do you think this is real? If you do, uh, let me know in the comments and if you know what the species is and you can identify it even better. Next up is this cute little cluster of uh, mushrooms growing by a windowsill. And you can see that's really nice. You can imagine it's kind of warm and kind of humid right by the window. And this really does look like oyster mushrooms, which makes a lot of sense because oyster mushrooms, as you'll see in the next few pictures as well, are super resilient. And you can find oyster mushrooms growing all over the place. Even when you want to cultivate them, you can grow oyster mushrooms on straw, on hardwood, on coffee ground, on banana leaves, on all sorts of things. So it's totally believable that oyster mushrooms could easily grow behind a wall on the wood frame or something and eventually burst through the crack. And that's kind of how they grow in nature, right? They're kind of inoculating the inside of a tree and growing through the wood and eventually they'll find a crack in the bark and grow through that crack. And that's basically exactly what these mushrooms are doing. They're just doing it inside instead of outside. Now again, this is another one I found on Reddit and the OP said that it was in Florida, which makes a lot of sense because it would be humid, it would be warm, and it would be kind of the perfect environment for those mushrooms to be growing. Now here is another one I found on Reddit and this one was growing in an RV and it's actually two huge fruiting bodies. I guess it's kind of hard to tell how big they are, but they look pretty big and you can see they're nearing the end of their life cycle because they've dropped spores everywhere. And there's a couple different pictures of this one, but basically it's growing right out of the floor and you can imagine it's feasting on some sort of organic material under the floor and eventually decided to fruit right through the crack. Now at first glance I did think that this was probably an oyster mushroom because it does kind of have that characteristic oyster look along with the white spores everywhere but there was quite a lot of debate going on in any comments trying to figure out what species this was. A lot of people were saying rushula which doesn't make any sense to me because well it doesn't really look like a rushula and also rushula are a mycorrhizal species meaning that they grow in symbiosis with other plants. So the other ID in the comments was a lusopaxillus species which it does kind of look like as well and it is a saprophytic species meaning that it would feed off of that decaying matter so it makes sense that it could grow inside like that but uh, yeah there's definitely something wrong with that RV if mushrooms that big are growing inside of it. Next up is another picture of what looks to be oyster mushrooms. Now this one is super aesthetically pleasing. I don't know what it is about this, but as soon as I saw that picture, I thought, man, that is really nice. But unfortunately, it probably means that there's a lot of renovation and uh, demo work that needs to be done on this house. You can see that the mushrooms are fruiting and maybe five or six giant clusters just bursting right through the floorboards. Looking at it, it looks like it could very well be an oyster mushroom. Again, I'm pretty sure that the OP said that this was in Florida, which again makes sense because it's gonna be warm and you might have a lot of humid wood probably underneath the floor or maybe the floorboards or something that the mushrooms will be feasting on and eventually they want to reproduce so they'll burst through the cracks in the floors and create these big fruiting bodies. Uh, it almost looks like an art installation but unfortunately it probably just means that the person who owns this house has a lot of work ahead of them trying to restore it uh, but I guess at least they got free oysters. Next up is another photo of what looks to be oyster mushrooms again, although it could be a species related to oysters. It's really kind of hard to tell, um, but this is similar to a lot of the other ones, right? You can see that the oyster mushrooms are just bursting through a crack between the floor and the wall. Life finds a way, right? Mushrooms will try to find a way to continue to reproduce. So this one is definitely not as aesthetically pleasing. I'd be pretty surprised to see that in my house, but uh, definitely some work needs to be done on that one. 
Next up was a mushroom that was super exciting to see because it's not an oyster. Again, this one was in Florida, apparently. And if you're into medicinal mushrooms, you might know exactly what this is. It is a reishi mushroom. And actually, this is probably not a uh, Ganoderma lucidum or the actual reishi mushroom, but it'd be a very close relative and it's definitely Ganoderma. And you can see that it's kind of just growing in the antler form. So reishi mushrooms, I actually have one right here beside me. This is the conch form. Eventually, when they get enough fresh air, they form these big, beautiful conchs. But before they form this, they form just little tiny antlers or little finger-like projections, which is what's shown in this photo. And you can see that the leading edge of it is white. And eventually that will kind of grow out to be this big, shiny, uh, red conch or mushroom cap. And uh, you can see that it's growing, it looks like it's coming out of a patio door or something. Unfortunately for this one, it just, you know, picked the wrong side of the wall to fruit on. So I don't know if it would eventually grow into a big one. It'd be interesting to see what actually happened to this reishi mushroom. And uh, yeah, if anybody could tell exactly what type of species of Ganoderma that is, uh, let me know. Some people were guessing in the comments on Reddit, but it's really hard to tell when the mushroom's at this stage. And actually for the reishi, I'm not that surprised to see it growing indoors. Kind of surprised actually we don't see more of it compared to something like oyster mushrooms, which most of these pictures seem to be because reishi mushrooms are super tenacious. If you've ever grown reishi, you see the mycelium is just insane. It will just rip through any substrate and it can just rip through contamination. It's just a super tenacious mushroom that can grow in all sorts of different conditions. So to see it growing inside of a house like this really isn't that surprising at all. Okay, this next one is a little gross, but uh, this is a nice flush of mushrooms. This looks like oyster mushrooms. It actually kind of looks like king oyster mushrooms or Pleurotus oryngii, even though it's really hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure it's an oyster mushroom and it looks like it's just kind of bursting out of the wax ring that forms between where, you know, a toilet and the floor. And I don't know exactly what it would be feeding on. Probably again, the floorboards or something and it decided to fruit and, and burst through that crack. But um, yeah, I would definitely not want to see that in my bathroom. Next up is a picture of even more bathroom mushrooms. And this one was super cool to see. I really have no idea what happened here. Apparently the person who found this was a plumber and they pulled it out of the toilet somehow and weren't sure what it is. So they posted it on the subreddit, what is this thing? But when you look at it, it's pretty clearly a reishi mushroom. You have the antler form growing through most of it. And then you can see at the end there, there's like a, where the white tip is, it's starting to form a conch. And actually you can see on the floor, it's already dropping all those characteristics brown spores that reishi has but I have no idea how that would actually be growing inside of a toilet and through the comments a lot of people were asking this plumber like how did you actually pull it out of there what was it doing inside of there any one of their answers seemed to just make everything a little more confusing so it's kind of hard to figure out what was going on I can kind of see like if this was you know if there was a, a crack in the in the drain somewhere and the mushrooms were somehow growing inside it would form these super long antlers because it would be trying to reach some fresh air and you know at the end there, maybe it would start to form a fruiting body. I don't know. If anybody knows what's actually going on in this picture, let me know. But without a doubt, that is what looks to me anyways, like the uh, antler form of a reishi mushroom that's starting to form a conch with a bunch of spores on the floor. So more toilet mushrooms, this one being reishi. And finally, we made it out of the bathroom and into the hallway. This is some oyster mushrooms growing behind an exit sign. And I just thought this one was really super aesthetically pleasing because you see these two huge clusters of oyster mushrooms that are bending an exit sign and just forcing it right off of the wall. But these are actually some pretty nice looking mushrooms. There's a huge cluster of them. Obviously, it's a really good strain. You know, if you take the sign away, it almost looks like somebody was just trying to grow these mushrooms on purpose. So uh, these ones, out of all the ones that we've seen, are probably the most harvestable. <laughs> I don't know if I'd pull random mushrooms off a wall, but uh, it still looks pretty cool. And again, just shows you the, the power of mushrooms and, you know, what they try to do to reproduce and what lengths they will go to make sure their spores get out into the world. So is this something that you actually need to worry about? Do you need to worry about mushrooms growing out of your bathroom and out of your walls and out of your floors? I don't really think so, to be honest, even though there are some examples of this happening. You know, me personally, I'm obviously always growing lots of different mushrooms inside of my house, and it's not like I have mushrooms growing out of the walls, except for this one, but uh, that's actually just mounted on the wall, not growing out of the wall. But I don't think it's something to worry about in general. I think it's kind of these, these odd cases where mushrooms just happen to find the perfect environment, and maybe there's been some damage where where parts of the house or has those ideal conditions for mushrooms and the mushrooms manage to fruit. But in general, this shouldn't deter you from growing mushrooms at home as long as you're not providing those perfect conditions throughout your walls and throughout everywhere else. 
But the bigger thing to learn here is how can we learn from this? I mean, mushrooms, we always try to give them these ideal conditions to make them grow, but sometimes it might be better off to not have ideal conditions. And you can see obviously from these examples, mushrooms will find a way. And sometimes when the conditions aren't ideal, they even try harder to produce fruiting bodies and, and get their spores out into the world. And I've definitely seen this where you have a fruiting block or a kit and you just forget about it or you leave it in the garage and mushrooms eventually form and sometimes they form really nicely. And there's other examples too of like mushroom kits that are sitting on the shelves at Walmart or Home Depot or whatever that just start growing through the box. So maybe we can actually learn to not always provide ideal conditions but somehow kind of stress the mushrooms a little bit to see if they can help them produce more fruits, bigger fruits, because no matter what, they will do what it takes to get their spores out into the world. So that's it for this video. I found most of these pictures on Reddit. And if you wanna go jump in the comments there and uh, be part of the discussion, you can find the links to all of the threads in the description below. And if you have any stories or examples of mushrooms growing in weird places, feel free to share that in the comments as well. I'd love to hear your stories. Until then, thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. If you're looking to experience the benefits of mushrooms, I wanna let you know about Thrive 6, which is our premium blend of six powerful functional mushroom extracts. We use nothing but whole fruiting body mushrooms that have been thoroughly extracted. So you know that the mushrooms inside of Thrive 6 actually contain those beneficial compounds that give mushrooms their superpowers. Thrive 6 is super easy to use. There's a little scoop inside. You can just add a scoop to your coffee or to your smoothie or to any other foods. And if you don't want to do that, we also have it available in capsule form, which is a super convenient way to get your mushrooms. If you wanted to try Thrive 6, you can use code YouTube at checkout to get 15% off your order at freshcap.com. Or if you just want to learn more, head over to the product page and read some of the 500 plus reviews to see some of the ways that people are using and benefiting from Thrive 6.